This movie is extremely interesting for a few reasons. It was the probably only film where Francis Ford Coppola and George Lucas worked together on. And also, it was during the Hollywood second, second, the Hollywood second golden age, which honestly produced some of the greatest films, pr produced most of the greatest films of all time. And this film is downright experimental, and that's because Lucas could get away with pretty much anything at this point, like, for this film. Like, it's insane, like, like, of course, five minutes were cut from its original theatrical release, which you can't, and you can't see the original version anymore. I've watched the 2004 version, but, um, honestly, the, the 2004 version is nowhere near as intrusive as, uh, it's... A Star Wars counterpart in terms of absolutely on the why factor. With George Lucas, I could see why he updated certain elements here and there. Then there's an element here and there which I didn't agree with, but of course, it's not like Star Wars where I disagree with most of the changes. And there's some changes of the special editions I do like, so don't take this as a you know fully negatory thing. It's it's hard to talk about this movie in so many ways. It's interesting. I'm just rambling for this one. I just, it's, I really can't gather my thoughts on this movie. Like, it's brilliant to look at. Like, visually, it is impressive. Like, I'm wow. Never seen. Like, I've only seen a few like it, but I just this. I would come back to this movie just to feel. That kind of wow with the cinematography and the, you know, design of it all. With Star Wars, it's very stock and standard camera design. And honestly, I got nothing against stock camera design, but I prefer a bit of creativity in the camera layouts and whatnot. And this film delivered it. Of course, the story is way thin, like, 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 thinner than, thinner than ice, like, but it gets the job done. It's like, and when you think about it, in the end, THX really isn't a hero. He's literally just trying to escape. Like, especially after he finds out his lover Luh is just. They pretty much, you know, used her body and to create a new kid. It's like, oh fuck. It's just, oh god. That got me first time. Honestly, I just didn't expect that. <clears throat> And the guy playing uh, what's called the hologram—I can't remember his name to save my life anymore. I'm completely lost it. But he is just fantastic. Robert Duvall is on top of his game. Donald Pleasance can narrate a phone book and make it sound like the best thing ever. <laughs> I'm not fucking kidding. <laughs> oh my god! But I would recommend this movie as if you're a George Lucas fan. It's a good. It's the C is first theatrical debut, like with Hayao Miyazaki in the Castle of Cagliostro. But I will. Say this, The Castle of Cagliostro is a better film, and I will be touching upon that soon. This is the end of the review. Good night, ladies and gentlemen.